Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online where we are playing the Mega Godzilla. We are playing the Annihilator today. It's a very difficult build, it's a very difficult mech itself because it is very big, it's very obvious, but it also has a lot of armor. So I wanted to play something that is a hybrid of being a tank for the team so we can absorb the damage for them and also dealing some damage at medium range. And therefore we're gonna take the Annihilator 2A which is in my books the best one of out of all of the Annihilators because it has so many options and we're gonna take all the six ballistics today with an six AC5 ballistic build. We are running standard AC5s here. We have an alpha strike of 30 damage. However, we can shoot it at about 700 meters optimal range, which means we can engage early, we can engage often, and we have 30 damage pinpoint with a quite good rate of fire. So over time, this mech just deals a good chunk of damage. And because it's an annihilator, it's a 100 ton mech, it also has a lot of armor at its disposal. And on top of that, we also have armor quirks, which makes the mech even sturdier. The drawback, of course, is that we have um, standard engine 280, which brings us to only 45 kph, so it's really slow. You've got to communicate with your team a lot in order to, um, you know, make them aware of what your battle plan is and uh, motivate them to support you. I will, I will talk about that in the in the game a little bit. But yeah, um, had to strip down the leg armor a little bit, had to strip down the arm armor a little bit, and arms are actually quite fine here. You won't lose them so often anyway. Most of the time, people will go for your side torso so that half of the firepower is cut off in an instant and therefore people are not really aiming for arms so 33 armor plates here is quite okay I would say and um, there's one thing that I quickly want to mention the warning says that we cannot fire more than five AC5s at the same time because of ghost heat however we can just eat the heat it doesn't matter it just does not matter and if we're ever getting too hot we we have some cool shots here to keep the the heat down again the rest as you can see is just ammunition and that's a quite straightforward build now let's talk about the skills here for a second and as you can see we got magazine capacity so we are never running out of ammo and then I try to get as many heat gen points as possible to just mitigate the the cooling factor here or the heat factor coming from the six auto cannon fives shooting at once on top of it we have a good chunk of cooldown we got a bit of range uh, as you can see the firepower tree is a very straightforward one and honestly I also like a little bit of velocity here because it really helps you aiming at your targets when they are moving we also have maximum survivability because again I wanted to be in the fight I wanted to expose myself willingly in order to help my team to um, you know absorb the damage so they can act freely and by the way that is the incentive that you should give your teammates when you're communicating with them in the early game say hey I'm a meat shield I'm gonna give you some free opportunities to deal your damage so please take that and go with me because if you're staying close and you shoot the enemies when they are shooting me you're not getting shot so that's a benefit for you it's good for you do that and it also helps you. So it's a win-win situation. We also have a um, bit of cooling here. As you can see, we got maximum cool run. We are not taking any radar deprivation. Again, I want to be a target for my enemies to some extent. But we are running double cool shot plus a UAV. And that's the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing Skirmish. And ideally, I'm going to try to take the top because this is where I can stay. This is where I don't have to worry about anything. Also, that's a hit. Nice. So, um, first of all, I need to stay in motion. I need to keep pushing W as, as hard as I can in order to get where I want to be. And um, I really hope that we can actually take the top because, again, this mech is designed for being in one place and not go anywhere. If we are kind of getting caught in a NASCA, I am dead. So, guys, shall we take top? I'm gonna bring my Annihilator if you want. Just in, so that you know. And, uh, yeah, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna watch over this low ground here while we are moving. So, let's uh, keep a keen eye. Let's keep our eyes peeled. And see if there's somebody trying to, you know, jump on us from the bottom. We also have a, what is that here? A Battlemaster, a Warhammer. Yeah, the guys, I really hope that they are, you know, not stopping. That they keep pushing, even though they are enemies. Because I want to be on the, on the high ground. That was bad. That was a bad shot. Should have hit that. Yep. But anyway. So, I'm gonna stay here. This is my only battle plan. I have nothing else I can do at all. Oh, what? Mm, not happy with that. But, you know what? We're gonna go for the supernova. Bam, bam, bam. Again? All right. So, let's go. Grasshopper is surely getting some, some hits on me. But then there's a rifleman. On the rifleman, guys. And stay on him. That's a kill. XL rifleman. So, there it is. Let's get the grasshopper finally. What, what is happening? All right. So, that's good. All right. So, now we just stay on top and just uh, contest the ramps. And then we win. 
Just swivel around. Echo 4. Guys, Echo 4. This is where the enemies are coming from. Uh, and this is where we're gonna try to uh, hold it. Ah, a little bit too low there, but again, this grasshopper is hard. Actually, not hard to hit because he's now on top and he's gonna move. And not jump anymore. But then again, there was one shot that missed him. It's like he doesn't want to get hit by me. I mean, obviously, he doesn't want to. All right, so left side it is. Oh, wait, let's go for the king crab then. Yup, they have actually swiveled around quite a lot here already. And I'm going to hold this here because that is my freaking job. All right, that's a lot of damage. And he's dropping. So, yeah, let's keep it going. Guys, uh, contest those ramps, please. Come on. Come, please, a bit forward. That would be great. Don't let him get on top. And that's my side also being destroyed. Okay, here we go. Mr. Hunchback. What are you doing there? We lost two auto cannons already. Guys, push up a little bit. That would be great. Get an angle. They are just running. They are not fighting even. Get your weapons on point. Okay. So we lost two auto cannons. That is not good. But again, we're gonna contest those ramps as much as possible still. That, then there's the grasshopper. It's so crazy. That guy just won't die. It's funny that we got the kill though in the end. Another one. So yeah, we are using our armor as much as possible. We are the tank for the team, and it kind of works out. So next ramp is gonna be the ramp in Delta 4, and this is where our enemies are coming from now. Yeah, 100 shots left. I have the adder in front of me, so therefore I was not really sure if I could try to hit that dude. Next ramp is gonna be the left one here, but there are still enemies right in front of us. Okay, yeah, it's my left side also. That's gonna pop now. It's just natural because, again, enemies around us. Can you be a bit more active, please, guys? That would be so good. Shoot your weapons. Don't just stay behind and dodge it. It's also important that we're gonna push towards winning the game. And that's um, that's how we're gonna win. You know what? I'm gonna push this guy now. I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm so done with it. I know that my center torso doesn't look great anymore. Push the hunchback, guys. Come on. I'm gonna go in now. I'm your meat shield. All right. And that is my weapons down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here. Fine. <laughs> I'm not mad at my team. No, no, I'm just disappointed. No, I'm not, really. I, I was just hoping that we would be a bit more active, uh, help each other out more. Okay, Feels like everybody was super afraid to do something. Oh, and oh, I mean, I soaked oh, eight oh, freaking oh, hundred oh, damage. Oh, that is mind blowing. Uh, I, of course, we are winning the game. Absolutely. It's kind of like arguing on a very, very high level here. But uh, more active, more active team play. That's what I wanted uh, a little bit more. Where's it's okay. Though. So, let's see. There's a Stealth Thanatos, yeah. Charlie 5. Charlie 5, Stealth Thanatos. Uh-huh. Oh, that's not even Stealth. He's just easy aiming. Um, and he's gonna die as well. Yeah. Oh, that's a Gauss PPC. Wow, that's old school, man. That is like 2016. <laughs> All right. So, Thanatos is, uh, is about to pop his XL with that build, 100%. Right? No, he is Light Engine. All right. Good to know. But anyway, guys, we have won the game. We had two casualties. I'm one of them. But we also soaked up so much damage. And we pumped out some while we were doing it. So let's take a look at the end score and see the total of all of this here. And then we're going to go over to the next one. So as I was saying, three killing blows, eight assists. We got three kill most damage dealt with about 750 done, 838 taken, five components destroyed. And as I was saying, that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Solaris City. We are playing Domination. I hope that I can fit through here and... Yeah. Yeah, it's just barely possible. Ah, just uh, ramming into the buildings here. But yeah, it's cool. So we have a left side push going on. I really hope that we are going to the Delta 4 area. I hope that we are not doing any NASCAR. Hopefully. We will see about that, though. I'm not going to go around the right side because it's uh, it's too long. We're going to push over to Echo 4 and then dive over to the left to Delta 4. And uh, I hope that the other assault mechs are coming. By the way, I see a lot of assault mechs here. Let me quickly see. Is that majestic? No, it's not that majestic, right? Is majestic even... I don't know. We have a Fafnir and a Cyclops in Alpha Lands, and that's what I kind of uh, find funny here. All right, so the fight is already on. We see a Cicada, the 1%. <laughs> Nicely done there. And um, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to be doing, guys. Left side push. That is it. So let's see if we can build a firing line here. Also, we have the good side. Yeah, it's, it's a very open side. We can possibly try to hit the, those guys if there are no bridges around. All right, so let's try that again. We missed him, but it's fine. We have enough ammo anyway. So I don't think that this game is going to go too long. And all of a sudden, we have a long game. <laughs> you already know, because you can just... Uh, you see it on the, um, on the on the YouTube, you know? You can just scroll forward and see how long this game goes. You can see, still see it on the bar. But um, all right, I don't know yet. For me, it's still the future. 
TBC on the left side. We're gonna we're gonna hold this here, and we actually got a hit in. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go for actual heat vision, cause that's what we need to see our targets. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just realized I dropped in front of him. Was not intended. I, I did. I was just so focused on the front line that I didn't see that there were bullets coming around here. All right. So center seems fun. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go to the center. There is a lot of stuff happening. Hi, I'm an annihilator. You got hit in the back. That was good. And we're gonna wait for Mr. Broiler. Hi, Broiler. Okay. There is a lot. Guys, watch center. Center, center, center. Okay. Ooh, that's not good. They're kind of surrounding that. There's the dragon again. Alright, so I'm slightly pushing forward because the dragon wants to join the fight and we are here to intercept. Cool. So, what about that roughneck? He's peeking out. This fight is... Is under control? Yeah, it's under control. So the dragon will pull back. We are ready to do things against him. Unless he's not coming, but he is. So let's go for that dude. Got him. And now we're gonna turn around here to see if we can hit the Roughneck a bunch. But I don't think he's gonna make it. No, Light making his back already. So that's the thing. The Roughneck is under control. We don't need to care about him. What we need is a reinforce here on the left side. Oh, this is not gonna be good. So much for the Roughneck or whatever hit us there. All right. Hello, King Crab, my old friend. Shall we go for the Hatamoto? No, we're gonna stay on the Crab there. This guy is gonna probably go for us anyway. So, big center torso. Gonna try to hit him as much as possible. All right. We are still alive, funnily enough. Seven and four, looking good. Here comes the Fafni. Here comes the Cavalry. Let's uh, go in. I really hope that we can kind of live through this. We are still getting hit in the butt. I don't know what it is. That's really annoying. Oh god, and then there's a Stalker, and then there's Artillery, but we still have most of our weapons, so let's just go for that guy. And yeah, we're just gonna phase him down. I mean, 7-5, seven, seven, yet again, was relying on the Fafnir. Ugh, come on, dudes. There was obviously a push going on, and then it stopped. Alright, so enemies have figured out the die mistake, but I'm gonna try to make it hard for them. You know, if they, if they really wanna go for me, wanna get the glory kill, sure, I'm gonna absorb that damage. So, again, we could have survived this. We could have shot, like, five to six more shots here, which would have lots of, you know, ifs and thens, uh, would have resulted in more damage, but that's okay, because we're gonna win the game anyway. So we're gonna play it as a tank today, I guess. Still wonder what was in our back there. Might have been this guy. Might have been the Sun Spider that was uncontested. He also has... Uh, no, he doesn't have ECM. It's a Vanguard and a stock build. Um, stock Omnipod build, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you're playing those games, when you're playing those builds where you're really 100% relying on your teammates, and then teammates are not doing what you expect, then uh, sometimes it hurts a little bit. You know, it's fine. But we dealt 665 damage. We got 750 absorbed. We have three kill most damage dealt anyway. We even got a killing blow. We destroyed some components, and that is the important part of it. And honestly, we had top damage in this one here, right? Yeah, yeah. Funnily enough, we did it. Next to Mr. Jaeger Mac down here with also 665. Same thing. So, anyway, that was it for today, everybody. That was the Annihilator with AC5s. Good damage, good range, very slow speed, but we also have a good chunk of armor that we threw in today. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.